Hi, I'm Katie Most. I'm the production designer for The New Adventures of Peter and Wendy. Welcome to Behind the Pixie Dust. I'm hoping to show you guys a little bit more about what I do as a production designer, uh, and also teach you how to make some of the props and set dressing that we'll be using in season two. Production design always includes a little bit of magic, so Pixie Dust seemed like an appropriate thing for this show. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, my guest today is lovely Carol, who plays Lily on The New Adventures of Peter and Wendy. And today we're gonna be making an anthropology hack a little jewelry dish with a with a little you know animal friend in the middle. It, it normally costs twenty five dollars at Anthropology, which seems pricey to me. We're gonna make it for almost nothing. Um, yeah, so let's get started. I went a little overboard. I went to Goodwill and bought a lot of plates. Um, different floral ones. I love Goodwill. Yeah, no, and these were all not, no plate I bought was more than two dollars. <laughs> uh, I bought a lot of them. A saucer is best for size for this. Um, I'm gonna go with the one that's the plain glass with the gold edge, but honestly, pick your favorite. If you can't find one that has a gold edge and that's what you really want, you can just buy a white plate at like Ikea or Target and then line the edge with gold Sharpie. That's a really simple way to do that. It, it looks pretty awesome actually, surprisingly. And you wanna make sure that it's totally clean and dry when you start. Uh, if it's not, uh, the glue will not adhere well, and that's... I, I've already played this game once when I, when I made this at home, and that, that was a real problem. Um, so yeah, make sure that make sure that's clean and dry. Uh, then you want to get little plastic animal friends, and... Oh, look at these little um, guys! Yeah, no, they're super cute. And at, at Michael's, you can get a tube of um, little forest animals, or like they have dragons, which are really cool. Uh, they also have a mermaid one that I can find. Uh, but you can get all sorts of different animals and pick your favorite. I mean, anything that speaks to you, hopefully not literally their class. <laughs> um, we've chosen the tiger. <laughs> so you want some sort of white spray paint. Um, this is paint and primer in one, which is great. You can do them separately. Uh, you'll want some sort of glossy paint probably. Um, it's best to make it look the most like enamel. So the first thing you want to do is um, lightly either with a piece of steel wool or a piece of sandpaper, you want to sand the surface of your plastic figure. So do you want to take a sure. shot at that? I don't want to hurt him. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm sure he'll be fine. He's, he's plastic. He's, you know, he, he's had worse. So you just want to rough it up a little bit. Um, there's, there's no real science to this part. It's just making sure that there's a place for the paint to adhere to. I recommend painting more than one at once because, so normally we would spray paint the figures right here, but the thing that I learned, um, this lovely high gloss enamel, uh, gloss white, ultra cover, primer, paint and primer in one, it, um, <laughs> it takes forever to dry. So we're not going to live paint because watching paint dry, I've heard, is not good, good entertainment. <laughs> I like watching paint dry. Yeah, I know. You know, to each their own. If, if, that, if, that's your, if that's your passion, you know, go for it. Be light and careful in the paint. Um, if you spray too heavily, it gets sticky, it gets gross, and you'll have to, uh, I had to dust all of mine with a little bit of cornstarch to get rid of the stickiness. You can also use baby powder, you can use any, I mean, baking soda I think would work as well. Here are some of the, the little animal friends that I painted earlier um, at home. Uh, one really important tip, um, I did not paint in a well-ventilated area, paint in a well-ventilated area. Outdoors is best. Um, but I always use like a box. Um, anytime I get a shipping thing, I, you know, or a, like a soda 12 pack, you can paint inside of that. It, it saves the sidewalk. It saves whatever surface you're painting on. And your lungs. And your lungs. Definitely your lungs. Oh my God. It's a penguin. <laughs> well, yeah, cause that's my thing. It's penguins. So, so wait, these are, these are little friends. Um, they, are, are pretty bland and, and boring as white, but you can, if you want, just go with plain white. I, they, they have sort of a, a ceramic quality to them, but um, what I'm gonna have us do, actually, is do a little detailing with gold pen. Ooh. Since our little tiger friend has lost all of his stripes, <gasps> it is time to add stripes back to the tiger. Oh, the tiger gets his stripes back! Lovely, I think that is your job. If you take a picture of the unpainted tiger first, like a smart person, smart. then you can go back and recreate those stripes. You can also, I mean, to be honest, tiger stripes are pretty easy to fake. So uh, what is your favorite animal, Lovely? You know, 
you hit it right on the head. This is actually my favorite animal. Really? Uh, yeah, tiger. Actually, anything really cat related. I'm, uh, but I'm, I wouldn't say like I'm a cat. Well, like, I was gonna ask, like, do you have cats? No, no. I don't have any animals. You like uh, big cats. <laughs> oh, big cats. Definitely big cats. Um, but yeah, tigers out of the cat family. And cheetahs. I'm a big oh. I'm a cheetah person. Somewhere in one of the bags I, I made a cheetah. cheetah. Yeah. <gasps> that could come home with you. If, if you really oh want. Love. I have a lot of plants and a lot today. of animals. There's so many things. I, at a certain point, I'm like, am I going to have to start making these and selling them on Etsy? It's the only justification yes. for how many things I bought. I, I couldn't stop. It's, it's a problem. Um, the next step to complete your little jewelry dish, we'll clear off all our little animal friends, okay. is to uh, carefully take your hot glue gun, which I have one standing by that's already heated. But take your hot glue gun and you want to dab just a tiny little bit of glue on the feet of your animal. And make sure not to burn yourself. Um, hot glue can be treacherous. Um, I have burned many a finger using hot glue. And then you just press down. And lovely, if you don't mind holding him. Of course. Um, you wanna make sure that it seals well. Um, you can also use either ceramic or um, other kinds of glue, but that requires a 24 hour cure process and I'm not patient enough for that. And so we're pretty much done. Um, this is our lovely Animal Hack Jewelry Dish. Uh, so all you need to do is add jewelry. I have my super nerdy uh, Cute. Doctor Who cameo and my little Lego uh, necklace. But um, yeah, that's basically it. Um, thank you, lovely, for, for joining thank me. Thank you, Katie. This was a lot of fun. This was awesome. Uh, and look for this jewelry dish in season two. Or maybe not. It's prop, it's prop. Katie's pro tip. Uh, one of my favorite things about this project is if you get the little animals with horns, um, this one's a, a ram, there's an elk, a moose. If you take the gold sharpie and just color the horns and the hooves, it looks really fancy. Um, it's actually closest to the actual anthropology thing and it's, I don't, it looks luxurious in a way that you wouldn't expect for gold sharpie, spray paint, plastic animal.